Hey everybody, Invisible Batani here doing a reaction and review for the first official trailer for the new Tomb Raider movie. Um, I really don't know what to expect from this, in all honesty. Uh, I saw the, uh, not the trailer, the poster that everybody was making fun of with the Photoshop and all that stuff, but I don't know. I mean, I didn't even realize it was this close. If I'm being totally honest, I had no idea we were even remotely this close to actually having a trailer or any of that stuff. I feel like with it being supposedly like, you know, it's the next video game movie, it's always a big deal, even though they, they do what they do. Um, I feel like this one just hardly had any coverage. Like, I heard about it before, but I still thought, honestly, it wasn't like the conceptual stuff. Like, I didn't know that there was an actor, I didn't know that there was a set date. I know that will probably be revealed in the trailer, but I didn't know any of this stuff was even this close. I didn't know there was even close to a poster. Like I said, I didn't know there was even a person actually set to play. Laura Croft officially and have, you know, someone who already did it in like scenes, enough scenes to make a trailer. So it kind of hit me out of nowhere. I was like, oh, I have not really been hearing about this that much then. But the first trailer is here, so we will see what happens. Um, I like Tomb Raider. You know, I haven't played the newer ones, but you know, it's Tomb Raider. It's a classic game I had. Actually, I think I only had the second game, but I played the crap out of it. Had Angel of Darkness, which is the one everybody hates. But, you know, I like Tomb Raider. I have the other games, I just haven't played them because I've I got like a crazy backlog because of Steam. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this and we'll see what the heck happens, but who knows? Video game movies. What's your name? Laura. Setting. Croft. Well, clearly based on the look off of the new games, especially the first one. That's an actual tomb. That's that's a nice touch. And that's an actual tomb as well. If Trinity succeeds, our world is in danger. Promise me you will stop them. I promise. Okay, so 2018. Hey! Into the Badlands. Oh, this is actually just like the first game. I didn't know if they were going to be doing this story or if it was going to be like its own thing or what. Like, yeah. I didn't know he was in this. Michael Goggins. Maybe I did know that. I almost want to watch this just for the actors that I know are in it because I really like this other thing done. Now I see the likeness. The recklessness. Close the tomb. Is that pickaxe? The fate of humanity is now in your hands. Not, did I say pickaxe? Maybe, yeah, that is what that's called. I was like, did I say that wrong? I was thinking ice pick. But I said it right. Fall the planes and. Super jumps. Don't be too careful these days. The world is Didn't know he was in this either. They got a bunch of people in this. She got she actually does the handgun, so it's interesting. And this I'm so I downloaded this, so I'm assuming that was supposed to be where the uh the annotations were supposed to go. Um that wasn't bad. That was a bad trailer. I'm not like insanely excited for it, if I'm being totally honest. It's just like, yeah, that seems cool, but Nothing super crazy. The biggest appeal, I'm not even going to lie, I've said this like three times, but um, pretty much all the male actors that they show focus on, I know all those guys. It's like, oh, I wish I knew everyone, but the only guy I don't know by name is the dude from Into the, Badland, Into the Badlands, who is um, the Asian guy that they show, just for any context, if you guys don't know any of those people. But um, I know Nick Frost. Um, I know Michael Goggins. Uh, he always plays a villain. He's never a good guy. I think a lot of people know him by now because he's been in a few of uh, Quentin Tarantino movies. He's always a villain. He's always he plays a racist a lot too. I'll be wondering sometimes. I'm like, he plays a racist a lot. If he says some racist in this, he might be full on racist. I don't know. Um, but he always plays a racist. It's kind of funny. But he's a great. Um, if you ever watch the show Justified, it used to be on FX. It was one of my favorite shows ever, and he is like the perfect villain in that series. It's unbelievably well done. But 
I know like all the side actors in this, so I'm kind of like, I want to see it just because I like those actors. But it's Tomb Raider. I don't know. I mean, maybe by the time I see this, I still won't have played the game and I'll like it a little bit more. Uh, but I don't know, because it's clearly, you know, with the whole boat thing and then watching up on the island, it's like, all right, well, this clearly takes uh, more inspiration than I thought from, you know, that reboot game that came out a few years back. But I do have to wonder, especially with that ending clip where it's like it's her with the long braid and everything, which I can certainly appreciate that. It was like taking it back to like the old school style of, you know, I mean, she has like the, she has like the long hair the whole way through, but she doesn't have the braid until like that ending scene. But all of this stuff is definitely from the game. She's got the pickaxe, she's got like the tank tops with her outfit with like the, just the bandages are like almost the exact same places and everything. So definitely a ton of inspiration from the rebooted version of the game with her on this island and then we have the ending clip where it's like okay well when does that come into play you know with her having like the dual pistols and stuff and kind of going you know more classic Laura Croft style so it just makes me wonder like how is it where is that going to be like is, did they throw that in there just to be like check it out we don't totally abandon the old school style and then it turns out that's like the end of the movie for a reference to like you know here's the sequel and she'll have like the you know dual wielding pistols and stuff so I hope that's not what they end up doing with that clip because that would really, that would really suck if that was how they were kind of teasing it. Like, check it out, old school style, and it's like the last scene in the movie where she's going off to do a second mission. It's like that's for the sequel though, but it's not horrible. It just doesn't seem super epic to me. Um, and that, that's video game movies, I guess. It, it's really hard to say. It's like some of them will really get me. Uh, some look more exciting than others. Of course, if it's a game that I'm more familiar with. Um, I'd probably be more excited, but it looks okay. It seems like it'll be an okay adventure movie. I like, I actually like the other um, Tomb Raider movies. I actually did like those. I think those are some of the better uh, video game movies that are actually out there. I think they did a good job with those two movies. I am excited to see how they do this one, though, because this, and that's the interesting thing about those movies, is that the first two movies, um, as far as I remember, at least, because I was never, like, super in-depth with the Tomb Raider games, I don't believe those really follow the video games too much. I think maybe the first one does a little bit where she's actually competing against another um, treasure hunter. But, um, and I guess that's what they're doing here too. But I don't think it was like, here's, you know, it was like, here's the look of the character, but not like, here's her on the boat and then leaving the boat, washing up on the island, getting the pickaxe and being in the exact same costume and playing through mostly the actual game. I don't think that's how those first two movies were. I could be wrong because I never really was like super deep into Tomb Raider like that. So I could be totally wrong, but I don't think they followed so closely to the exact story of one of the games. I think it was like an original story just using, you know, Lara Croft Tomb Raider. So it does make me wonder if it's even worth it. That's one of those big things where it's like, love the game, but why remake you know, that's always the thing with video game movies. It's not really a good idea to remake the story of the game in movie form. That's why we have the game. There's no point in seeing it where I can't play it. Because, like, I can do this and choose eight different types of epic moves instead of just this one move over and over again that I'm watching. So, I am curious how that'll play out. Um, it does seem a little bit different as far as, like, how things are going a bit with the island. I think there'll be more interaction. It won't be nearly as much, you know, hunting and stealth and, you know, and all that stuff, like, from the game, of course, because it's a movie. But definitely makes me curious, but as always, I want it to do well. It's related to video games, so I want it to work. It's a video game movie, so I pray it works. Um, but that's really all I can say. I, I think it looks okay. I don't think it looks horrible, I will say that. I don't think it looks bad at all, but I do just feel like it's okay. And more than anything, what worries me is that it's just following, it seems like it's going to follow the game more than be an original story, just utilizing the new version of Laura Croft. So it's like, that's what worries me more than anything. It's like, I feel like if this is just going to be a retread of that game, which wasn't a bad game. Everyone likes that game. And then you just do that game in movie form. It's like, well, I'm sure it'll come out fine. But it's like, there's nothing new to that. There's no point. You just buy the game, which by the time this movie comes out, the game will, that, that game will be cheaper than it would be to pay to see the movie, I would imagine. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I hope it does well, like I said. But it didn't look horrible. Not in any regards, it didn't look horrible, but I would love to know what you guys thought about this trailer, so please comment below, let me know your favorite parts about it, your least favorite parts about it. Of course, uh, with this following so closely to the game, and like I said, I haven't played it, so I can't speak too much on it. I've seen a ton of reviews and footage of it, because I was interested when it first came out. Um, 
but with it t looking like it ties so closely to the game for those of you that have played it, how does that make you feel? Like, I recognize it just from, like, opening cutscenes of her jumping off the boat in the game is what they did in the trailer, and the costume is exactly the same, her getting the pickaxe and stuff like that, washing up on the island. It seems like she gets captured in the beginning rather than what they do in the game, which is her alone for a while until she gets captured later on. But with it tying so close, I would love to know what you guys think about that, because normally the best way to do a video game movie is to just be like, let's just take these characters or just do something in the world, but not use characters from the game. But you have to, because Laura Croft is the only main character, so you have to use her. But I don't know, a different adventure, maybe make up their own. I don't know. We'd love to know what you guys think about it. So like I said, definitely let me know how you guys feel about it being so closely tied to the um, the first, the rebooted game. It's so weird to say the first game because they're like a million Tomb Raider games, but you know what I mean, like the 2008 game, I think it was. So we'd love to know what you guys think about it tying so closely to that. And of course, we'd love to know what you guys thought about the trailer in general, how it makes you feel, looks cool, doesn't look too cool, don't really care. So, in general, we'd love to know what you guys think, so please put your comments down in the comment section below. And, of course, thanks for watching.